Welcome to a captivating journey into the mysterious realm of Atlantis. The legendary lost city that has fascinated scholars and adventurers for centuries. In this video, we will delve into Plato's account of this enigmatic civilization, exploring the story behind the myth and the enduring allure of Atlantis. Our exploration begins with Plato's dialogues, Timaeus and Critias, where he first mentioned the existence of Atlantis. Critias, a prominent Athenian statesman and philosopher, narrates the tale of Atlantis as told by his ancestor, Solon, who had received it from an Egyptian priest during his travels. According to Plato's narrative, Atlantis was an advanced civilization that thrived thousands of years ago beyond the pillars of Hercules' modern-day Strait of Gibraltar. The Atlanteans were blessed with bountiful resources, sophisticated technology, and a utopian society. Tragically, the prosperity of Atlantis led to hubris and corruption among its rulers. The Atlanteans became power-hungry, neglecting their reverence for the divine and the laws of nature. Their decadence and arrogance eventually incurred the wrath of the gods. Plato recounts the catastrophic event that led to the downfall of Atlantis. A series of earthquakes and floods engulfed the once magnificent city, sinking it beneath the sea in a single day and night. The legend of Atlantis was born, leaving behind a haunting mystery that has puzzled historians, archaeologists, and enthusiasts ever since. Over the centuries, countless explorers and researchers have sought to unravel the enigma of Atlantis scouring the depths of the ocean and examining ancient texts and maps. We will explore some of the most notable theories and expeditions that attempted to locate this elusive lost city. One notable theory is the hypothesis proposed by the renowned scholar Ignatius Donnelly in his book, Atlantis, the Antediluvian World. Donnelly's theory suggests that Atlantis was a highly advanced civilization that existed in the distant past predating even ancient Egypt and other early civilizations. According to Donnelly, Atlantis was a vast continent situated in the Atlantic Ocean, stretching from the Azores to the Caribbean islands. In his book, Donnelly compiled evidence from various ancient texts, myths, and geological data to support his claims. He argued that many similarities existed between cultures from different parts of the world, such as Egypt, Central America, and the Mediterranean, suggesting a common ancestral source Donnelly proposed that a cataclysmic event, such as a comet impact or volcanic eruption, led to the sudden and devastating destruction of Atlantis. He believed that the survivors of this catastrophe dispersed to different parts of the world, carrying with them the remnants of their advanced knowledge and advanced technology. Al Donnelly's theory gained significant popularity in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. It has been subject to much debate and scrutiny among scholars. Critics argue that his evidence may have been cherry-picked or misinterpreted to fit his narrative. Additionally, modern advancements in geology and in archaeology have not provided concrete evidence to support the existence of a lost continent like Atlantis. Despite the skepticism, Donnelly theory remains an influential part of the broader mythology surrounding Atlantis. It serves as a testament to the enduring fascination with the idea of a lost civilization and continues to inspire curiosity and exploration into the mysteries of our ancient past. As we wrap up this first part of our enthralling journey into the enigmatic world of Atlantis, we've merely brushed the surface of its mesmerizing enigmas. In our upcoming episode, we'll delve even deeper, exploring intriguing theories that hint at potential extraterrestrial connections. Additionally, we'll venture into the captivating concept of Atlantis as a highly advanced maritime civilization while wondering whether the enigmatic sea peoples might be remnants of this fabled realm. Don't miss out on any of the thrilling revelations and discoveries that lie ahead. We highly value your input and theories, so share your thoughts and ideas with us in the comments below. Your insights could be the key to unlocking the secrets of this ancient enigma. So. Hit that subscribe button and embark with us on this mesmerizing quest to uncover the truth behind Atlantis. Now, in part two, we plunge deeper into the mysteries that surround this legendary lost city. Prepare to unravel the captivating enigmas that hint at extraterrestrial connections and the remarkable concept of Atlantis as a highly advanced maritime civilization. As we sail through the annals of history, we'll ponder whether the mysterious sea peoples could be remnants of this fabled realm. But firstly, the theory that Atlantis was a highly advanced civilization with connections to extraterrestrial beings. According to this theory, Atlantis was not just an ancient human civilization, but it had interactions with advanced beings from other planets or star systems. 
Proponents of this theory point to ancient texts and artifacts that allegedly depict encounters with extraterrestrial beings and advanced technology. For instance, we have the Mahabharata, an ancient Indian epic that enthralls us with descriptions of Vimanas, advanced flying machines that some believe to be evidence of extraordinary technology and possible extraterrestrial influence. Another compelling notion is the ancient astronaut theory based on the works of Erich von Däniken. This theory suggests that ancient civilizations were visited and influenced by extraterrestrial beings. With ancient texts and artwork harboring intriguing evidence of these extraordinary encounters. The Dagum tribe in Africa is also a focal point for the ancient astronaut theory. As they possess knowledge of Sirius B, a star invisible to the naked eye, which they claim was passed down by extraterrestrial visitors. The enigmatic Sumerian tablets offer yet more intrigue. Certain ancient Sumerian texts, like the Epic of Gilgamesh, hint at advanced knowledge and technology seemingly beyond the realm of human origin, pointing instead to potential extraterrestrial sources. Then we have the mysterious Nazca lines in Peru, captivating large geoglyphs that some believe could have served as ancient astronaut markers for landing sites. Egyptian hieroglyphs hold their own share of mystery. Specific depictions of flying boats have spurred debate with some interpreting them as potential evidence of ancient encounters with advanced beings or technology. Lastly, ancient artwork such as cave paintings and carvings. To some, these evocative depictions offer hints of extraterrestrial beings or spacecraft that once roamed the skies. One example often cited in the context of ancient cave paintings that hint at extraterrestrial sources is the Val Camonica rock art in Italy. The Val Camonica Valley contains thousands of petroglyphs dating back to prehistoric times, and some of these enigmatic carvings depict humanoid figures with peculiar characteristics. One specific petroglyph known as the alien or astronaut carving stands out due to its unusual design. The figure appears to have a helmet-like head, large eyes, and a thin, elongated body. Some researchers and enthusiasts have interpreted this carving as evidence of ancient encounters with beings from other worlds, potentially suggesting an extraterrestrial influence on ancient art and beliefs. Now let's delve into the theory surrounding the connection between extraterrestrial beings and the Atlanteans. Some believe that the Atlanteans received knowledge and technology from these extraterrestrial visitors which contributed to their advanced society. They might have gained insights into advanced energy sources, transportation methods, and scientific knowledge that surpassed the capabilities of other ancient civilizations. Supporters of this theory also suggest that the sudden disappearance of Atlantis could be linked to extraterrestrial intervention. Perhaps in the face of a cosmic catastrophe or conflict with these beings, Atlantis was either taken away to another realm or suffered a catastrophic end due to advanced weaponry. While this theory remains highly speculative and lacks concrete evidence, it adds an intriguing element to the Atlantis narrative. Like other theories about Atlantis, the idea of extraterrestrial connections sparks debates and discussions among researchers and enthusiasts. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the past, the question of Atlantis and its potential ties to otherworldly influences remains a captivating subject of investigation and imagination. Another notable theory about Atlantis is the idea that it was a highly advanced maritime civilization that thrived on trade and seafaring. According to this theory, Atlantis was a powerful naval empire that dominated trade routes and maritime commerce in the ancient world. The Atlanteans were skilled sailors and shipbuilders, enabling them to establish a vast network of trade connections with distant lands. Proponents of this theory point to ancient texts and legends that describe Atlantis as a wealthy and influential civilization with access to abundant natural resources. They suggest that the Atlanteans were expert navigators who traded with various cultures, exchanging goods, knowledge, and cultural influence. Some versions of this theory propose that Atlantis served as a critical hub for the exchange of goods and ideas between Europe, Africa, and the Americas. They believe that the Atlanteans' extensive maritime knowledge allowed them to explore and colonize far-off territories, influencing the development of other societies. However, the prosperity and dominance of Atlantis eventually led to its downfall. Some theories propose that as Atlantis grew in power, 
It became greedy and sought to expand its influence aggressively, leading to conflicts with neighboring civilizations. Others suggest that natural disasters such as earthquakes or tsunamis could have submerged the island and caused its demise. While there is no concrete evidence to support the existence of such a maritime empire, the idea of Atlantis as a seafaring civilization provides a plausible explanation for the legend's creation. However, we could look for potential descendants of this ancient civilization. Let us turn our gaze towards the enigmatic sea people. Little is known about these mysterious individuals. What if the Sea Peoples are linked to the Atlanteans, or even represent one of the factions that survived the destruction of Atlantis, living in solitude for centuries? These theories suggest that after the fall of Atlantis, some of its surviving inhabitants could have become wandering seafarers, seeking new lands and resources. But let's first start with the fundamental question. Who were the Sea Peoples? In the ancient annals of history emerges an enigmatic group known as the Sea Peoples. Their presence during the Late Bronze Age collapse around the 12th century BC holds profound significance. Echoes of their existence resonate in various ancient texts and inscriptions, leaving historians and archaeologists in a perennial quest to uncover their origins and identity. Venturing across the vast seas, the Sea Peoples orchestrated large-scale invasions and migrations that reverberated through the Mediterranean region. Like tempestuous waves crashing upon the shore, they struck at the heart of numerous civilizations and coastal cities, including the mighty realms of Egypt, Anatolia, and the Levant. Yet, amidst the historical narratives, a veil of uncertainty shrouds the identity of these enigmatic people. Historical records often paint them as a collective entity, their individual ethnicities concealed within the sands of time. Their enigmatic presence, however, bears witness to a momentous era, the collapse of Bronze Age civilizations around the Eastern Mediterranean. Their actions played a role in a symphony of upheaval, creating a cacophony that would echo through history's halls. As we navigate the annals of antiquity, the Sea Peoples remain an enduring enigma, captivating researchers and scholars alike. Their impact and role in this era of turmoil continue to be subjects of relentless research and speculation. Let's now explore the intriguing connections between the Sea Peoples and the legendary Atlanteans. One theory suggests that the Sea Peoples were none other than Atlantean survivors. According to this proposition, the cataclysm that led to Atlantis's sinking left behind a group of resilient Atlanteans. These survivors carrying the knowledge and culture of their advanced civilization became wandering seafarers seeking new horizons. Alternatively, we consider the idea of Atlantean influence on the Sea People. Some theories propose that the advanced culture and technology of Atlantis influenced the Sea Peoples. Another intriguing perspective relates to mythical figures intertwined with the Sea Peoples. In certain interpretations of ancient myths, legendary figures like Poseidon, the sea god from Greek mythology, often associated with Atlantis, have been intriguingly connected to the enigmatic Sea Peoples. For instance, some speculative readings of ancient texts propose that the trident, a symbol closely associated with Poseidon, may have also been utilized by the Sea Peoples suggesting a symbolic connection between the two enigmatic entities. Whether through trade, interaction, or shared knowledge, this influence might have motivated the Sea People to embark on their grand naval expeditions and invasions. Moreover, the concept of shared maritime traditions between Atlantis and the Sea Peoples, advanced shipbuilding techniques and navigation skills were supposedly common to both civilizations, hinting at a potential cultural link Lastly, some very speculative theories propose that the Sea Peoples were agents of divine punishment. Sent by the gods as a response to the Atlanteans who breathed in corruption, the Sea Peoples' invasion served as a means to restore balance and justice in the ancient world. The legend of Atlantis and the enigma of the Sea Peoples continue to captivate our imagination, inspiring us to explore the wonders of our ancient past. So share your thoughts and ideas with us in the comments below. Your insights could be the key to unlocking the secrets of this ancient enigma. So, 
Hit that subscribe button and embark with us on this mesmerizing quest for more captivating stories from the realms of history and mythology.